medicine without research is just like navigating the oceans without a map. Everything that exists in intensive care or in hospitals only exists because of research. The only reason we can do ECGs, ventilate people, give them medications, make them live through major operations is only because people have done and continue to do research. It's the most exciting thing that anyone can do. Now, intensive care is an area which is important to the community. It's the pointy end of hospital care. It consumes billions of healthcare dollars in Australia and New Zealand and so it's really important to define what is the best way to manage these patients. In order to do that, uh, the only way is to conduct high-level, high-quality, randomized controlled trials. This paper that we're talking about is a study which was published in the New England Journal of Medicine and it is about the management of septic shock. It is a large, multi-center, international, randomized controlled trial which compare two ways of managing septic shock. The new way of uh, supporting patients with septic shock with early goal-directed therapy was of no benefit at all and it's going to affect practice and management of patients worldwide. So it's very exciting because you feel that you might be able to make a difference to people's ability to survive.